Number 54. From the phase diagram for water, which was figure 10.31 in the textbook here, determine the state of water at 35 degrees Celsius and 85 kilopascals. Okay, so I pulled up the figure right here. This is for water. And all we have to do is just follow the yellow brick road to find out if water is going to be in a solid phase, a liquid phase, or in a gas phase. And this is pretty easily determined. We just have to follow the graph. Now, the first thing is, is it doesn't matter whether you start on the X or the Y axis. Let's look at the 35 degrees Celsius here. Now, this um, figure is not really represented to scale because if you see the difference between 0 to 100, and then you see the difference from 100 to 374, the timing, or not the timing, but the spacing is a little bit off. But we can guesstimate here. 35, if we did treat 0 and 100 uh, as a true uh, result here, right, or as a true um, axis, Z uh, 50 would probably be somewhere here in the middle between 0 and 100. Maybe it would be a little bit this way. So this would be 50 degrees Celsius. So we're trying to look for 35. We don't really have to be too specific, but this would be probably 25 in between 0 and 50. So 35 would probably be maybe around here. Okay. So now I'm just going to draw a straight line up just so that we could see it. So this is everything that can exist for 35 degrees Celsius. So if we just look at this, water can either be a liquid because it's in this like light purple, or it could be a gas. But since we're not anywhere near here, it's not going to be a solid. Now we just have to find out what's going on with my kilopascals. So I'm looking for 85 kilopascals. It's somewhere going to be in between 0.6 and 101. We can kind of estimate that the middle of this, we could treat this as 0, and we could treat this as 100. The middle here would be roughly around 50 kilopascals. So maybe 85 would be maybe a little bit up here. Remember, you don't have to be exact. So now let's just draw over the line until the two lines meet. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to just erase this. And here is X marks the spot. So right in this, it is going to be the light um, purple, which water would be in the liquid phase. And that is the answer to this question. Not bad. Just using a graph. What'd you think? I, I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.